Lisa, tell me about Common Goal, why you're involved, how it happened. Yeah, obviously a movement that I had heard of through national team members. So I think I'm now the 10th Scottish player um, to have joined Common Goal. Us as footballers, we obviously are very privileged and just to be able to help people that are less privileged than we are um, is something really special and we can do good. I think our platform, who we are, um, we need to take the opportunity to help people that, that need it and I think we can show that and we can do that and I think we're privileged to do so. It's not about the money, I think it's more about who you are and how you want to help people. Like obviously like picking a project you want to be involved with doesn't mean that you just don't donate the money to that. It means that hopefully in the future we'll be able to either travel there to connect with the kids, to, to be part of it all and I think um, as much as obviously money is needed to change things, I think the emotional connection will be as important. Both teams experiencing new managers this season, how do you feel that the club has adapted to Oliver? Um, really well, I think, yeah, he's obviously a really passionate guy, he loves his football, he's, he's football daft, crazy, um, but he, you can see that on the training pitch, he's a really good guy, very energetic and positive, so it's a, it's a pleasure to work with him. I'm like Jonas, who's you know, one of these quiet mice in the corner. Not energetic at all. <laughs> oh, it's been great to be honest. Uh, him coming in, he brings so much energy, as you've seen on the sideline. Um, we've obviously had some really successful years with Joe, but on the end of last season, you felt like we needed something else, and Jonas coming in has kind of brought that to us. And I think the atmosphere in the team is different. We're confident, and yeah, we'll just need to see where this season takes us. Has it changed your relationship at all? not being at the same club? We've always been professional about it. Like Lisa has always been just one of my teammates. Now we've obviously got like our little group at Arsenal that you hang out with more and then Lisa was a big part of that so you do miss it in that way. But I love being able to see Lisa play 90 minutes every single week and I do think you can see a difference in Lisa. I think she looks really relaxed and looks like she's enjoying it again and I think that's the most important thing. Um, yeah, you want to see her on the pitch and being happy and that has definitely been that case so far this season. What would it mean to you for this one and for Arsenal to go on and win the 50 million competitions they're, they're still in at the moment. Obviously that would be amazing if West Ham doesn't do it, that is obviously, <laughs> yeah, sorry, obviously yeah. first and foremost I'd want West Ham to, to be winning everything that's possible. Um, but we'll see, yeah, I'd like to see Arsenal do really well, especially for Viv and the other girls that I'm, I'm close with on the team, you know, it's a special team, it's a special group that we've always had the quality and the potential to do these things and to be competing for league titles and Champions League trophies. but. I think there's just been the small details that have been missing in recent years and I think, yeah, like I said, the talent's always been there so it's just about showcasing it now and, and smashing it up. I know you've been doing up your, your house at home. Is there a trophy cabinet there? There is. You've got a lot of awards. I know, but they're not on show. Yeah, no, they're not on show, that's true. They're mostly and covered in cobwebs. I've got a cabinet at the club, which basically Lisa was like, I don't want to see them all at home. So that is not that is there. not true. That is I've as, never as said the that. other girls. There's a few really ugly, like creepy see? trophies. Like some of them are scary. But nah, obviously got a fair few trophies at home. Uh, it's been a real delight talking to you both. Thank you for coming in and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.